What's up, awesome YouTubers? Ryan1988 or Justin back here to do a video for you all. Hope you're all doing well out there. And today I want to do a semi unboxing from uh, Diabolic DVD's website. And I picked up three titles from them, um, or I pre ordered these three titles from that website maybe about two or three months ago. And so I finally got them in and I want to talk about them. So um, as far as picture and sound quality and all that stuff, I will probably be doing separate reviews on two of these. Uh, the first Blu-ray I'm going to talk about, I have some thoughts on that. And so I kind of want to go over my thoughts and, and talk about it real quick. Um, but the first two titles I picked up out of the three are from MVD and that is House on Sorority Row and Mortuary. So these are the first two of uh, MVD stuff that I picked up. I have not owned any previous MVD titles. MVD, hopefully I'm saying that right. Um, titles from them. But what I love about them right off is the slip covers. I love the VHS style artwork. I think that's really neat. And I'm um, really excited to have these. Uh, you know, one of them is one of my favorite slasher films and I've owned several copies of the movie, but I was really excited to get this one. And the other one I have not owned since the old DVD I had. So I'm glad to have both of these in the collection, especially the second one I'm going to talk about. Um, because again, I have not owned that on Blu-ray yet. But the first one is The House on Sorority Row. So I've owned several copies of this movie. I'm a sucker for rebuying certain things, and um, House on Sorority Row, for some reason, always calls my name when uh, they release another release of this movie. Now, hopefully, this is going to be the final time that we get House on Sorority Row on Blu-ray, because I remember a time when you didn't even have a DVD that was available. Uh, the first ever DVD, which was released, I think, in the early 2000s, was out of print for so long and you could not get a hold of it. And then around 09, 2009, they released a standard DVD again, pretty good for the time. And then I think they released a two disc DVD from Scorpion's release. And I think three Blu-rays have come out now. Uh, but House on Sorority Row, again, I am a sucker for this movie, so I keep buying it. Um, I love this movie so much. This is one of my favorite slasher films from the 80s, one of those early 80s slasher movies. Uh, classic artwork here. Um, so yeah, I, I love this. So yeah, I double dipped and I picked this up when I got Mortuary. But um, yeah, um, House on Sorority Row. Um, as far as like details with this Blu-ray, um, you are getting two different versions of the film on here. So there's two different features on here. The main feature is the opening with like the blue filter. So if you know about this movie, you know that they kind of reissued it. Um, the director was a more of a fan of like a blue filtered opening of the film. And I think the studio didn't want to do that. So they had the original theatrical version with a opening um, which is black and white. So there's two main features on here. You have the main feature again. Um, blue opening of the film opening credits is like a blue filter um, That transfer is not the greatest. I was not a big fan of that transfer um, You know, I love some you know Some uh, uh, what's the word grain? I love some grain in a movie But being that I'm a big fan of House on Sorority Row and the previous release had an excellent transfer I was not a big fan of the main features transfer. Um, again, I understand why they made that the feature because that is the, as far as like the opening goes, the build, the blue filter, uh, that is what the director wanted in the first place when the movie originally came out. So I can understand why they wanted to make that the main feature, but it just wasn't um, the best presentation of the movie. Uh, now there is another version of this film on this release, if you go in the special features, it's the last feature um, on there. Um, that is the best transfer of the movie. That is the opening that is black and white. So that's the theatrical release of the movie. That um, feature was, or that transfer of the movie um, was actually the best one. And overall, it looked great. Um, so if I'm going to watch either, you know, feature or either transfer of this movie on this Blu-ray, I'm going to go for the one that's in the bonus features, but um, you guys decide which one you want to watch. Um, I just want to give you a heads up if you get this release or if you've gotten this release 
and if you haven't watched it yet, uh, the best transfer of this movie is going to be on the bonus features. Um, again, if you appreciate the, you know, grain of a movie, um, I think you'll like the, the main feature. I definitely like grain in a movie, but being that we had um, a previous release before this one that had an excellent transfer, um, you know, it's, it's not the best transfer as far as the main feature goes. So if you're going to watch it and if you want the best uh, transfer of this movie, um, when it comes to this release, go to the bonus features. Again, it's the last uh, feature on the bonus features list, and that is the best transfer of the movie. Um, I know that's a lot there, but um, I wanted to give you a heads up with that. Um, bonus features are the same. There's really nothing new um, that's, you know, for this release. Um, they're all the previous bonus features, but you got fantastic interviews. Um, you got an interview with the director, Eileen Davison, who's, you know, from Real Housewives, and, you know, she's a soap star from Days of Our Lives and Young and the Restless. And then Catherine McNeil, who I was in, I believe she was in Monkey Shine. So that's another George A. Romero movie. Rest in peace. He died four years ago on this day. So I definitely miss George A. Romero. But she's in that film. Catherine McNeil, she is the main kind of final girl in this movie. Um, overall, I love this film. So if you don't own this on Blu-ray yet, this is the one that's available. Um, it's pretty affordable. It's, I think, like almost $30. So if you're a fan of this movie or if you're a fan of 80 slasher movies and you don't own it yet... Um, this is the one to pick up. Now, if you have the previous Blu-ray, the one that came out before this, honestly, that is the best transfer of the film. Um, you know, the, the, the transfer that's in the bonus features here looks really good, but the last Blu-ray was amazing. And I wish I still had that, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to get this. It's going to have the same transfer. And, um, yeah, so it does not, unfortunately. I think the, the best the movie has looked is the previous release with that um, slipcover on it where the girls are by the pool. Um, that is the best transfer of the film, in my opinion. Um, however, again, if you get this one, though, um, you are getting two different transfers of the film. And if you want the best transfer, definitely watch the one that's in these special features. Um, so, yeah, House on Sorority Row, again, pretty... For overall, great release here. I'm not going to down it too much. I don't want to down it, but um, as far as transfers go, um, you're not getting the best transfers of these movies with this Blu-ray release. Uh, again, the transfer and the bonus features is overall great, but the last Blu-ray that they came out with um, from a different company had like the best transfer of the film. So um, it's definitely something where I'm I'm thinking of, you know, as far as double dipping goes in the future, I don't know if I'm going to do it too much. I know I just said I bought those Halloween 4Ks, and, you know, if there's a certain movie out there that I absolutely love, I will definitely upgrade, but um, House on Sorority Row, I do love this movie. I upgraded several times, but I've kind of learned from this release, um, even though it's overall great, that um, I'm going to um, rethink double dipping so many times. Um... But yeah, House on Sorority Row. Again, love the movie. One of my favorite early slasher films. And this is an overall, you know, really good or, or great release, but it could have been better. Um, if you don't have the movie on Blu-ray yet, of course, pick this up because uh, this is the best you're going to see the movie um, because the previous Blu-rays are out of print and it's definitely better than any of the DVDs that have come out. But um yeah, so Hassel and Sorority Row, MVD released this. Uh, original artwork there, really neat. Um, and then you do have some reversible artwork. So with this release, um, they did reversible artwork. So you have that there, which is pretty cool. And then on the other side of this Blu-ray artwork is that artwork there. Uh, it comes with the poster, which is really neat. It's just the original artwork for the original movie. And then the, um, the Blu-ray artwork's pretty bare bones. I, um, again, I've never ordered from MVD before. I've never owned their releases before. So I don't know what the other Blu-ray discs have looked like in the past from them. But these are kind of bare bones as far as artwork goes, or they're just kind of bare. Um, you do have, again, the poster, which I will show. 
So that's pretty cool. I don't know if this is limited or not, but you do have a poster there. Pretty neat. Uh, again, overall, great release. If you don't own the movie yet on Blu-ray, this is the one to pick up. Um, if you own the the last Blu-ray, I think Scorpion released that, or Ronin Flicks released it. That is one. That is the one, in my opinion, to keep if you already have it. Um, Again, I got rid of that. I kind of wish I would not have because um, even though I think this is an overall great release, you are getting the same bonus features and you're getting the best transfer of the movie with that Ronin Flix release of the film. Uh, but again, if you don't own House on Sorority Row, this is the one to pick up. So because uh, this is the one that's only available. Uh, but yeah, House on Sorority Row. I kind of sound like I'm downing that release. It's not a terrible release of the movie. It's just as far as house on sorority row they've released several releases of the movie and uh the previous blu-ray i mean that transfer was beautiful and um even though you are getting uh, a, a a great transfer in the bonus features the main feature transfer isn't the best so um keep that in mind when you purchase this and you're gonna watch it go to the main or not the main feature but go to the bonus features and there's a transfer at the bottom of those bonus features you click on that transfer and that's the best one. It looks great overall. Um, now going on to the other MVD release and I did not own this on Blu-ray yet. So I know there was a previous Blu-ray, there was a previous DVD. I own the DVD of it. Um, this isn't one of my favorite 80s horror movies or slasher films out there, but being that I am such an 80s fan, of course I had to get this one. And again, I had the DVD and, you know, later on I wanted to rewatch it and the DVD was long out of print. The previous Blu-ray was long out of print. So I'm glad MVD released this and that is Mortuary or re-released the movie. Um, so I don't know anything about this transfer. I really don't remember the movie too much. Um, so if you guys want to see a review, a separate review on this, um, let me know. And same with House on Sorority Row. I've kind of talked about the transfers already, but I could talk about the movie, tell you why I love it so much, because I do love House on Sorority Row. Again, one of my favorite slasher films. Uh, but Mortuary, again, I remember the movie being a good film. I'm going to rewatch it. I'm looking forward to checking out the Blu-ray transfer. Again, I only had the DVD, and that was a long time ago. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, as far as bonus features go, I haven't watched them yet. You're only getting one on here. I think it's a previous bonus feature, and it's an interview with the composer, uh, John Caveas. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Um, he's the only one that did an interview. This has the late Bill Paxton. Um, again, rest in peace to Bill. Um, one of my favorite actors. I'm missed today by a lot of people, including myself. But uh, Mortuary. Um, familiar faces in here. Uh, if you know the movie Pieces, you have two of the... You have uh, the actor and actress uh, from that movie. They're in this film. Um, I think it's uh, Linda, Day, Linda Day George and Christopher George. They're both in this movie. Um, David Wallace, who I don't know too much about that actor... But Linda Day and Christopher George, they were both in Pieces, which is one of my favorite slasher films from the 80s. Very cheesy, so bad it's good, but I love it. Uh, but yeah, Mortuary. Uh, again, I don't know too much about the transfer yet. I haven't watched it. So if you guys want to see a separate review, let me know down in the comments below, and I'll be happy to review this for you when I do watch the transfer. Um, but once again, really cool slipcover. I love these for the fact that, you know, they're very retro-ish slipcovers. You got all those stickers on there, like, be kind, rewind, make sure you don't leave these movies in the car under the sun because the they'll melt. All that fun stuff from those old VHS tapes that you would rent from the video stores. Um, you know, got the cool, uh, the cool stickers on there, so very neat. There is the Mortuary slipcover. Um, this one does not have reverse artwork, so you're just getting this artwork here. Uh, there's the back. Um, again, plain Blu-ray disc. They don't really do anything with their artworks, which, um, again, I've never ordered from, or I've never purchased any MVD titles up until now, and so I don't know if the previous releases have any artwork on the insides. Um, these are just plain, um, Blu-ray artworks or plain Blu-ray discs. Um, then we got the poster. So you got the poster. So there's Mortuary for you. Uh, again, very cool. Nice little added, you know, item there. 
Um, very neat. So, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with these. Uh, again, House on Sorority Row, if you own the previous Blu-ray release. If you don't own it, this is the one to pick up. But if you own the previous last Blu-ray release that came out in 2018 or 2019, um, definitely hold on to that. Um, again, I sound like I'm downing this. I'm not really trying to. Um, but if you have that previous Blu-ray, that is the best one because you're getting all those bonus features that are on this one already. Um, with this one, you get two transfers of the movies, so that's that's overall great. Um, the main transfer, again, not the best, but the transfer in the bonus discs, or the bonus features, um, that is the one to uh, check out as far as transfers go. Uh, and again, Mortuary, there's only one transfer, and I don't know too much about it. So if you guys want to see a review on that, uh, let me know down in the comments. I'll be happy to review that. Uh, the last thing I picked up from from Diabolic DVD's website is um, a release from Blue Underground. I just talked about them in my last Horror Movie Boutique episode um, where I talk about different horror movie companies, horror movie boutique companies, and um, Blue Underground released Dead and Buried. I love Blue Underground. I'm a big fan of their releases. I have Zombie on 4K, and that is fantastic. And I don't own Maniac or any of their other Blu-ray 4K releases, um, but I hear the transfers are um, the same as the Zombie one, which are just fantastic transfers. Blue Underground does a lot of great work with their uh, transfers and bonus features. Uh, very happy with Blue Underground. I love this company. Uh, but there's Dead and Buried for you. Um, I've only seen this movie once. I remember it being really good, though. It had a great atmosphere to it, a very eerie atmosphere. Um, so I'm looking forward to revisiting this one. I will definitely be reviewing the movie as well as bonus features, transfer, all that stuff when I watch it. I've yet to watch it, so I'm going to um, do a review, a separate review on this one, talking about the 4K transfer, talking about the Blu-ray. I'll pop in the Blu-ray and see what that looks like, and talk about the bonus features, and talk about the movie too, because I've only seen the movie once, so I'm looking forward to revisiting it. I think like 10 years later, so it's been a long time since I've seen this movie. Uh, directed by Gary Sherman, who directed Poltergeist 3, which I personally love that movie. Uh, and Dan O'Bannon, who was the creator of Aliens, like it says on the cover, um, was involved with. He was involved with this movie, and I also think Return of the Living Dead. I think he he wrote that movie or he produced it. I can't remember what Dan O'Bannon did with Return of the Living Dead. But he was a part of that one too. Um, so, but yeah, Dead and Buried, really can't talk about it too much except from what I remember. Uh, but I will be reviewing this. So look out for a 4K review of this release, talking about the movie, talking about the presentation, talking about the bonus features, because this has a lot of bonus features on here, guys. It is loaded with bonus features. It has the 4K release of the movie, the Blu-ray release of the movie, and a soundtrack of the movie, which is awesome. Um, so there's this slipcover here. There's all. There's also two other slipcovers out there. There's one with the image right here of the nurse putting the needle in the guy's eye. So you have that slipcover, and then you have another one, which I don't really remember that artwork too much. But you are getting, I believe, three different 4K slipcover versions of this movie. So I went with the classic artwork. I, I really love that artwork right there. Um, you get reversible artwork, which is really neat. Uh, with this release, this is the reversible artwork. So this is the artwork that you get when you open it up. But I think the only difference with these two is that the title looks like this on the reversible artwork. And then, um, there's that title sequence there. So it's a little bit different, like you could see, uh, but not too much of a difference. So if you want different artwork, but you also are going to get reversible artwork, uh, definitely go for the other slipcover editions. I wanted to go for the classic artwork though, because I've always loved this artwork. Um, so there is Dead and Buried for you. Again, I will do a separate review on this and go into more detail, but I just wanted to show this off. And um, you open it and you get the, again, reversible artwork on the inside. 
um, which I've already flipped it around. You get the 4K, Blu-ray, and soundtrack of the movie. You get it in a nice clear case, which I love too. That was another nice little touch that Blue Underground did. And then you get a booklet, so talking about the movie. So this is really neat. I don't want to flip this over too much because I don't know if there's anything kind of like bad in here. That's all I'm going to say. Um, I don't think so. Uh, you know, you just get some, you get a good making of. There's there's prom night there. I guess somebody was involved with prom night. Um, the howling, you know, so pretty detailed. Again, you are um, kind of getting just a detailed making of with the booklet. So information about the movie. Uh, but anyway, guys, I'm looking forward to watching this. So as far as, again, the transfer and the bonus features on this, from what I see on the back, you are getting a lot of bonus features. I'll talk about that in my separate review. Um, and I'll talk about the 4K release, the 4K transfer. I'll talk about the Blu-ray transfer. I've only seen this on DVD, so I'm looking forward to revisiting Dead and Buried on 4K. Um, but that is three titles that I picked up from Diabolic DVD, um, their website. But uh, Dead and Buried from Blue Underground, Mortuary, and House on Sorority Row from MBD. Again, House on Sorority Row, it sounds like I was downing the release. It is a great release overall because you are getting all the previous bonus features. And if you don't own any of the Blu-rays uh, before this release, this is the one to get because you're getting fantastic features, which I really love those releases. Those features from what I remember. You're getting um, two different versions of the movie on this House on Sorority Row release. Again, the best one to watch is in the bonus features. Uh, Mortuary, which I'm excited to revisit. And again, if you guys want me to review the transfer in the movie, I definitely will. And uh, Dead and Buried again from Blue Underground. I love Blue Underground. That's one of my favorite companies. MVD, these are the first um, MVD releases that I've gone from that company. And um, we'll see if I'll pick up some more. I know MVD um, has released a lot of fun B-movies and horror movies and action films. So I'll definitely look into picking up more from MBD, but being that I'm a fan of House and Sorority Row, I wanted to pick this one up and uh, pick up Mortuary because I did not own this on Blu-ray. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, stay tuned for another horror movie boutique episode. I think episode three. I'll try to post that Sunday. Um, this upcoming week, I will have another live chat. Um, I'll do a Q&A, possibly Wednesday. Um, and then next Saturday, I have a uh, another live chat that's going to be coming up with a YouTuber that I've already talked to. We've already set a date for when I will do a live chat with that YouTuber. I'm not going to announce it until um, maybe Monday or Tuesday, but I'm looking forward to talking with this YouTuber because he's, he's one of my favorite um, YouTubers out there. So uh, I think you'll really enjoy that live chat. And um, there's another uh, a group, two YouTubers that I'm talking about uh, or talking with about doing a live chat. So that one's not set yet. Um, I'm still talking to them, but uh, I look forward to doing a live chat with them as well. And of course, many more live chats in the future with other YouTubers. I want to bring YouTubers on my channel. That way, if you guys have not heard of them, you can go subscribe and watch their videos because you know I want to showcase other YouTubers out there. That way, you guys can go Again, subscribe to their channels, watch their videos. I want to bring them on my channel and talk about them, or talk with them, not talk about them. Talk with them, uh, just, you know, having fun and talking about their channels and, and you know, movies that they like and, you know, uh, physical media, all that stuff. So I'm looking forward to having more uh, other, more YouTubers on my live chats and I will do more live chats, you know, like a Q&A on Wednesday. Um, because I'm really loving those guys. You guys are the best. I thank you guys so much for watching those. I'm having so much fun doing live chats with my buddy Nick over on his channel, The Lost River Drive-In. Drive we do our Haddonfield Alumni uh, High, Haddonfield High Alumni live chats every Monday, and then we always do live commentaries on Tuesday. So I love doing those with Nick, but I'm also now doing them on my channel. And I'm having so much fun, and you guys are the best. So thank you guys so much for always supporting the channel. 
um, watching the videos, subscribing, liking the videos, commenting. Um, I really appreciate it, guys. And I normally don't talk about this, but if you guys have not seen any of my latest videos, and if you want to see every video from me, um, you know, hit that bell notification because that way you can watch all my latest videos without missing any. Um, I know if you don't hit that bell notification, you know, I've kind of dealt with this in the past where it's like, I will uh, miss some of my favorite YouTubers videos and I will come across their new videos and I'm like, oh, they're still around. I need to watch their videos. Um, so hit that bell notification if you guys want to. That way you don't miss any of my videos, live chats, any type of video that I do. Um, hit that bell notification. Um, but anyway, guys, I hope you're all doing well. Have a great weekend and stay tuned for more and more videos to come. Um, look out for uh, some great ones to come, guys. Uh, but as always, you guys are awesome. You guys rock. And with the positive, out the negative. Go eat some Skittles. Always be you because you're amazing. And uh, much love to you all. And I'll definitely talk to you guys soon. All right, guys. Bye.